starts now. All eyes back on Franklin County courtroom today for day two of testimony in the murder trial of former Mount Carmel doctor William Husel. Thank you for joining us on NBC 4 5. I'm Brad Johansson. And I'm Audrey Hassan. Jennifer Bullock has the day off. Let's get straight to NBC 4's Dan Perlman. He's live at the Franklin County Courthouse. And Dan, I understand the second witness in this case took the stand today. Audrey, he did, and the second day of testimony actually just wrapped up a couple of minutes ago. Now, the day started with a Columbus police detective concluding his testimony, and then a pharmacist who used to work in Mount Carmel answered some questions. His testimony about patients both included and not included in the indictment. Two. Three. Franklin County Assistant Prosecutor David Zion pulled a 10 of fentanyl vials out of that bag. Nine. <coughs> Ten. This is showing the jury the number of 100 microgram vials needed to reach 1,000. Medical records show Dr. William Husel ordered Janet Cavanaugh 1,000 micrograms of the drug, an order that pharmacist Talon Schroyer told the jury he thought seemed a little unusual. He says he called Dr. Husel and discussed it. I asked something to the effect of, hey doc, I got this order for fentanyl here. It, did, you add, did you add an extra zero on it or something? Uh, and he said, nope, that's what we're doing a procedure up here. That's what I ordered. I said, okay. And I hung up and verified the order. It was very short. Schroyer is a pharmacist who no longer works at Mount Carmel. He told the jury about the process by which pharmacists could verify, reject, or put a hold on orders. He also discussed how drugs could be obtained from a machine without a pharmacist verification. That's what he testified happened in the case of a number of patients, including James Timmons. The state showed records indicating Husel ordered fentanyl and other drugs for Timmons. Schreier told his supervisor he was shocked these were given. I could only think of two real cases in my head. That was that these were actually given to the patient or someone is stealing drugs, and neither of which are really ideal. Now the day concluded with the defense questioning Schroyer and pointing to examples where Husel performed CPR and saved patients' lives hours before ordering fentanyl. Schroyer will be back on the stand when trial resumes tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. Local for you at the Franklin County Courthouse, Dan Perlman, NBC4.